So finally now I'm going to work on the cormorants here and I'm use I'm blackening up the uh the birds. They they mostly appear black, but if you look closely there's some turquoise and blues in their feathers. So what I'm going to do is a combination of brown, dark blue, and this turquoise type green. I'm going to combine combine those to make greys and blacks and then I'll emphasize the blues and turquoises as I go along. I'm not sure how it's going to go but they are the three colours that I'll be mostly using. So working into the front of the bird where the shadow side is on this photograph first of all. So I know this is my darkest area so I'm just going to paint that fairly solidly, maybe leaving a few little gaps for the colour underneath. Again, if I want to darken this up, I can add more brown to the blue, make it greyer. So kind of working down. So I'm going around those back feathers and then I get to create the shadow here and then it starts to form the feather. So I'm painting the shadows in eff effectively. It has a sort of shoulder area here, so I should bring that up. It's got a gap of a lighter colour at the front there, and it seems to go into shadow at the top with some maybe small marks to represent the feathers. Tiny brush would be really good here because you could get into the feathers individually. So it depends on how large or small you've traced your picture up. Okay, so just using the tip of the brush there and keeping the colour underneath showing through. It has a shoulder area here which I'm painting around. And then essentially I'm looking at the photograph and I am painting the shadows. These highlights I've left here, they can represent the, the, the highlights of where the light hits the, the back of the feathers. And I'm just really exaggerating the shape of the feathers there. There's a sort of point on them. You can see from the slightly larger photograph that I sent as reference. Some of you may, may actually want to paint the larger cormorant on its own, in which case you can really get into the detail of these feathers and scale this right up. But the same principle applies, wash down, vary your colour as you're putting the wash down. So you have a nice coloured base and then basically paint the shadows it almost looks like the feathers have an edge to them. So that's the shape I'm drawing as I'm working my way down and then towards the bottom end here. The feathers are much longer and so the shadows underneath will be much longer. So take your time and work away and as I say, try and vary the colours a bit. I've introduced some green there. So if you're introducing these colours, it will make the back look more interesting as you work downwards. So greens, blues, browns will make greys, turquoises. And some of you may already have those colours in your palette. And if you have, then obviously use those. But I'm working with a basic palette of basic colours and it's a bit like having primary colours. You can pretty much make any, any colours from them. So keep working away on all three of the comments. <laughs> 